this video tutorial I will explain what is event driven architecture. Imagine you are at a party where many people are mingling and having conversations. At some point, someone from the party decides to announce that it is time for cake. This announcement serves as an event. That event triggers different reaction from the people in the party. Some people might start heading towards the cake table and some people continue chatting or dancing. In a similar way, an event driven architecture in technology is like this party scenario. Instead of people, we have different parts of a software system that communicate with each other. These parts can be like small programs or functions or microservices and they can send out events just like cake announcement. When one part of the software system sends out an event, other parts of the software system that are interested in that event can react to it. They might perform certain actions or tasks based on the event they received. This communication and reaction between different parts of the software happen without those parts having to constantly check each other. So event driven architecture is like way for different parts of the software system to communicate and coordinate with each other by sending and receiving events. It is bit like how people at the party react to the announcement without needing to keep eye on each other all the time. This approach can make software systems more flexible, efficient and responsive just like a well organized party. Here you can see order microservice which will act as a producer and order microservice produce order events and send it to QR topic of message broker. Example of message brokers are Apache Kafka, RabbitMQ etc. And here you can see stock microservice and email microservice. And these are act as a consumers. And these stock microservice and email microservice will listen to the QR topic in the message broker. And if any order event is there, it will consume the order events. And based on the event, each microservice will perform certain task. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click on like button and please subscribe to my channel. You can get Java source code and PowerPoint presentation for each and every video. That you can see it in the description section of the video. Click on show more and here you can see the description and here you can see the links to download source code and PowerPoint presentation.